my name is Em and welcome to our virtual Health for Life programme. Health for Life is a healthy lifestyles programme for children, young people and families living in South End. So for today's session we are going to be talking about the Eat Well Guide. You've probably seen this Eat Well Guide before, it's been devised by the NHS and it's just a guide of all the kind of foods we should be having in our daily diet. So the first one we're going to be talking about is this big yellow section here. This is our starchy foods. Okay, so it's got our breads, potato, our whole wheat pasta, rice, bagels, porridge, wheat bix, spaghetti. Basically, these kind of foods help us give us our energy. Okay, so it's really important that we have these whole foods into our diet. The next section is the blue one here. This is our dairy. Dairy is really good for our bones. Um, it's got calcium in there. So that's your milk, it's your soy drinks, it's your cheeses as well. The next section we are going to talk about is the pink one. This is protein. So this includes your chicken, your fish, um, your chickpea, tuna, and also soya and beans and pulses. And these proteins help with our muscles. Um, to, so if you're exercising, it builds on your muscles as well. And this other big, big green section here is your fruits and vegetables. Now we have to eat at least five portions of these fruits and vegetables a day. They boost our immune system, helps us fight off infections, and it will really help moving around those foods around the bodies as well. But also on this tiny little purple section here is the oils and spreads. Okay, so it only is a little bit because it is quite high in fat, but oils and butters do help with our joints. It helps us move around. Okay, so you need to have a little bit into your diet. Okay, but as you can see on the outside of the plate is our crisps, chocolates, muffins, ice creams and tomato ketchup. Okay, so they sit on the outside of the plate because they do not have any nutritional value. So you need to eat less often, but in small amounts as well. It's really important that we must have six to eight glasses of water a day. Um, so this includes lower fat milk, sugar free drinks, including tea, coffee, and they all count into our daily amount of fluids we should have a day. We've got to make sure that we have in these drinks because it keeps us hydrated, helps our, helps our minds and our bodies, and it also helps the food to transport all around your body. We also need to keep an eye on our food labels. Okay, so green is a good amount of, of the different nutritional values. The orange is a medium amount and the red means they've got quite a lot of that um, nutritional value, okay? So now I'm gonna briefly talk to you about portion control, okay? So as you know, adults and children's hands are different in sizes, okay? But so that would help us determine how much portions they should have in their food. So if you look at your child's hand, you could determine how much of different kinds of foods they can have in their diet. For example, the palm could be for protein, so this is how much protein a child should have just on their palm. Get your child to curl their hand like this. This means carbs. This means how much carbs they should have on their plate. Get your child to put the little V shape on their hands. This is amount of vegetables they should have on their plate. Now do get your child to do a D. Okay, this means dairy. So this is how much dairy they should have on their diet. Okay. And fruit is a fist. So get your child to make a fist. And this is how much fruit they should have on their diet. So if you're a little bit unsure on how to, to do your portion sizes for yourself and also for your children, you could just use your hand, okay? So let's go through it again. So palm for protein, curl for carbs, D for dairy, fist for fruit, and V for vegetables. Thank you for listening.